Hello friends, hope you like our song today about the old wise owl. They are really smart birds. Today we have a special story about an animal maybe not everyone is familiar with. It's a sloth. And here the story goes. Sloth at the Zoom by Helene Becker and Orby. Sloth at the Zoo. Zoom. Sorry about that. We are so used to saying Zoo that Zoom seems a new word. Zoo animal transport. Here is the truck that takes all the animals. Zoom. But the zoo is the other way. Zoo. One bright day, a truck whizzed up to the front gate of the zoo. There was a new animal being delivered. It was a sloth. Delivery delivered to Zoom, 37 Zoo Street. It took a long time for the Zoom keepers to get the sloth out of the truck. First, they had to wake her up. Then she needed a sip of water and a bit of a stretch too. When she finally looked around, the sloth was perplexed. You see, she thought her new home would be pretty laid back. Rest and relax at the zoo. But that's not a zoo, it's zoom. See, let's see what happens at zoom. But this was the zoom. No the zoo. At the zoo, the zebras galloped so fast they left the stripes in puddles. Oh, their stripes. The monkeys climbed so fast they forgot to stop at the treetops. And the parrots flew so fast their tails grew rainbows across the sky. What's all this fuss and flutter about? wondered the sloth. After a few weeks, the sloth was ready to make a new friend. She called out, Hello, Cheetah, where are you going in such a rush. No time to chat. Busy, 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 said the cheetah. Don't you have anything to do? The sloth nodded. Of course. I have to listen to the shh, shh, shh of the wind in the leaves. A few weeks later, the sloth called to the monkeys, Hello, would you like to hang with me? Can't stop now, the monkeys screeched. We are running ever so late. They raced up and down and round and round the jungle gym. The sloth shrugged her shaggy shoulders. Then she chose a comfy spot where the sun's golden rays would tickle her belly all day long. She seems in no rush. A few weeks later, after that, the sloth flagged down the zebras as they zipped by. I like your stripes, she called. They wind their thanks without stopping. The sloth sighed. She shook her shaggy head. 
No one here has any time. Quite so, a voice replied. The sloth looked up. Nothing. The sloth looked down. There, cupped in a filandron leaf, was a snail. Look at that. Why? Hello down there. Nice to meet you, said the sloth. There was a long silence. Then the snail said, Since you don't seem too busy, perhaps you would care to have a snack with me? There was another long comfortable pause. I will be delighted, said the sloth. But this could take a while. I am in no hurry, replied the snail. Both are in no rush. You can see from the way they are speaking. So here is the sloth on a branch and here is the snail. There is the sloth munching on a leaf and there is the snail. And here is the sloth looking at the mosquito taking its time and here is the snail. Finally, here the sloth is coming down the branch and snail is moving to greet it. When the sloth arrived at the snail's leaf, they shared a bite. Then they shared a cool drink. And as the setting sun adorned the sky, they shared a contented sigh. The monkey swing over. What are you doing? Sloth offered them some iced tea. Next came the cheetah. What's going on? Snail offered her a sweet green leaf to nibble on. Mind if we join you? Asked the zebras. Everyone shuffled to make some room. And as day become night and night becomes day, the animals at the zoo slowed down just long enough that is to become fast friends the end hope you like our story it was kind of a cute story about a sloth you know and the sloth are the slowest animals on land so if you like just like and subscribe and give us a comment if you like some other stories that we can read for you. Until then take care. Bye.